Okay, so I promised to document the other car in the stable more. So this is my 1991 Nissan Skyline GTR. As you can see, the body is pretty much stock, just KH2 gray, like most of them over the first few years were, of course. Aside from the Nismo nose, nose spoiler and the Nismo lip on the trunk, the body's all pretty much entirely stock. She is, though, sitting on a set of Work Emotion 11Rs, 18 by 9.5, with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S 265s all the way around. The front is also sitting on a set of six piston AP racing brakes with 355 millimeter rotors. And the rear is a set of Grex, which are just rebranded Alcons, four pistons, along with 332 millimeter rotors in the rear. We do have a Hikus Delete and steel braided brake lines all the way around. The trunk, very, very minimalist, obviously. So I have a triangulated Cusco strut bar. And the battery's been relocated. So that is a Billet Specialties plate mounted along with an Optima yellow top. It's a 200 amp circuit breaker on a custom made mount. And I used Fosgate connectors along with zero gauge cable going all the way up in to the engine bay. You can also see that I have switched around the power so that is a direct power line to a relay in there, which then goes to the Tomei fuel pump that's in there. The engine bay has a few things done to it. So we've got an R33 engine block, which internally is standard as far as I know. It came that way from Japan. It does have Tomei Pond Cam Bs, along with Tomei adjustable cam gears. Right over here are a set of HKS 2530s. The car originally came with Nismo Le Mans turbos, which worked fine, but I pulled them out because I wanted ball bearing, but that's another story that we're going to go to, into here in a minute. As you can see, it has HKS hard pipes all the way, going down to an HKS intercooler. Going to an HKS blow-off valve, HKS remote oil filter, HKS oil cooler, Gretti plenum, 850cc injectors. Over here, we also have, it's hard to see, but HKS stainless steel manifolds. And I'm running twin RB25 mass air sensors along with my Jim Wolf computer. It's been retuned. Off the turbos, we also have HKS downpipes, which meet up with a Nismo collector, which then goes to a three and a half inch exhaust, which works its way out the back to an HKS Super Dragger muffler. So we also have a Hurst line lock for drag racing. And in order to handle those bigger brakes, I also have the R33 BM57 master cylinder. And on the back of the motor inside of there, going to the transmission, is a Nismo twin disc clutch. So, you can see the center cover is a little bit different than what you've ever seen before, most likely. That is from a kit sold by the Nology Hotwires brand in Japan back in the 90s. Now, you remember they had that special grounded spark plug wires that they were marketing way back when, which allowed you to run remote coils in order to keep the 
coil from coil on plug from overheating. Now I'm not running anything like that. I just simply got the cover and painted it to match the valve covers because I thought it was something a little bit different. And then I got my, of course, there's my oil cap. So right there is the majority of the exterior. So. Inside, not terribly modified, just a few things. So what you got, stock seat still, of course. I am running Gretty twin pillar pod, Gretty boost gauge, PLX wideband. Down there I have a PLX DM100, which handles the twin EGTs that I have. And you have the Momo steering wheel, which the horn buttons have actually been changed over, and they simply activate the line lock now. Flip the switch down here, push the brake pedal, push the button, line lock's activated. And I have Nismo quick shift kit and then a Rimax shift knob along with an NRG e-brake handle. I'm also running the Gretti Profec OLED boost controller and then I've got a Pioneer head unit in here. So that's the basic overview of the car. As I mentioned before, the HKS 2530s, those are gonna be coming back out here shortly because they're making noise. They were probably on their last legs to begin with when I got them, and then I kind of pushed them over at that last track day over at Button Willow. So I got one of them that's making a lot of noise and giving me some grief. So I'm gonna pull it out and rebuild the bearing cartridge. So that'll be next.